take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so they want us to solve this system algebraically, so let's do that. With the system, for me at least, I find that when I have a system where I have something that's not linear and something that's linear, linear, I'm going to use substitution. And this right here is just a circle. X minus something squared, Y plus something squared equals 16. That's going to grab a circle. And then here we have two things, X and Y, and the exponents are just one. That's going to be a linear thing. It's a line. So I'm imagining there's a circle somewhere with a center at 3, negative 2, if you remember how that works. Um, so we have a circle. Uh, we go to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down 2, 1, 2. There's a circle here. And the radius is the square root of this number 4. So there's so a circle like this. Oh boy, that is not good. Let me. I think I have a circle tool on here. Let me try to use that instead of embarrassing myself. Something like maybe this, some circle, and then we've got a line. Now this line, if you are comfortable looking at it this way, you can say, well, okay, if x is 0, what would y have to be? y would be 5, because 2 times 5 is 10. So if x is 0, y is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if y is 0, x is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you get a line, right, that's going to cross our circle at two spots, like, oh boy, two spots there, badly drawn. So we're here and here, and we're trying to find what those two exact points are. This is what we're expecting to, to work with. How do we do that? Well, I, within this situation, I basically always do the same thing. I, I take my linear function, in this case, 2x plus 2y equals 10, isolate x or y, let's isolate x, so 2x plus 2y equals 10, so my first step is always isolate x or y. So I subtract 2y on both sides. And 2x is going to equal 10 minus 2y. And I just want to know what x is. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. It's going to be x equals 5 minus y. And then I take this and I substitute it into the first equation. So instead of x, I've got 5 minus y. 5 minus y minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 16. And now I start simplifying things. We have 5 minus 3 is 2, so 2 minus y squared. And y plus 2 squared equals 16. So now I'm going to simplify this and solve for y. What's 2 minus y times itself? Well, it's 2 times 2, which is 4. And then it's going to be 2 times negative y twice, so minus 4. 4y and then plus y squared. And then over here we get plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 16. And then we just start combining things. All I did there was distribute. y squared plus y squared is 2y squared. Negative 4y plus 4y, those cancel out. right? And then 4 and 4 is 8. right? So 2y squared plus 8 equals 16. Now we solve for y squared. Subtract 8 on both sides. 2y squared equals 8. Divide by 2 on both sides. So y squared is 4. Take the square root of both sides. So y is plus or minus 2, the positive or negative square root of 4. And then solve for both cases. If y is 2, let's, I'm going to use the linear equation instead of using the circle because it's a little bit easier to work with. So 2x plus 2y, so 2 times 2, y is 2, we have to equal 10, that's what our equation told us. So it's 2x plus 4 equals 10. Subtract 4 on both sides, 2x is 6, divide by 2, x is 3. So one of the points where they meet is the point 3, 2. And the other point will be if, f, if y equals negative 2, we get 2x plus 2 times negative 2 is 10. That means 2x minus 4 is 10. Add 4 to both sides, 2x equals 14. Divide by 2 on both sides, x is 7. So the other point is where x is 7 and y is negative 2. And that's our answer. Right? Now if I scroll up to our original sketch, you can kind of see that makes sense. This looks like the point about 3, 2, and then uh, about 7, 2 or so. Over 7 um, 
negative two as well. I mean, my sketch is terrible, so this blue line should clearly be a little bit lower here and would hit about negative two there. But the idea is you can sketch it out to get a sense of your work even before you begin. All right, I hope that helped.